Hey, beautiful soul. I'm back again with the weekly reading for Friday, May 17th through Friday, May 24th. I'm Joy Giovanni, Joyful Medium. I help people get clear messages and guidance from the other side so they can move forward in their best next steps with clarity and with hope. Let's get into this weekly reading and see what the energies, potentials, possibilities are in our world this week. This first card that we have is the Ace of Cups. Now remember, you hear me say this all the time, when you see that spirit hand coming in from the side, this indicates a new opportunity. When we see the Ace, it is often a whole new chapter or a whole new avenue for us to explore. And Cups has to do with our emotions. So for some of you, my singles out there, raise your hand uh, in the comments, you could be experiencing a new relationship or a new potential partner or love interest coming into your life. It could be someone that's already been in your space, but you're seeing them a little bit differently or you're seeing that there's an opportunity potentially there. This doesn't have to be about romantic love though. This can be about friendship. It can be about uh, new ways to collaborate, new ways to engage in emotion. Maybe there's a family member that you care deeply for that's coming back into your life. It doesn't have to mean a whole new person. It can mean someone coming back. It can mean someone coming in in a stronger way. So maybe there's a friend that you've been kind of lightly connected with and there's gonna be an opportunity for you to deepen that connection, that emotion between the two of you. But this will be an opportunity to fill your emotional cup so that it runs over. And this blue heart here uh, is love from spirit, but also signifies communication as being a key factor in this connection. This next card is Ten of Wands. Uh, the song that keeps popping into my head as I'm doing this reading for you is that I get by with a little help from my friends song. This card is about struggle, feeling like we're pushing these wands up a hill. You're almost complete with this though. So is there something that you can release that is just causing you struggle, strife, stress that you don't need and don't want? This won't be something that you can't move away from. It'll be something that you're spinning your wheels unnecessarily or putting effort where no one has asked you to, taking too many things on your plate um, or into your schedule in a way that you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart likely, but no one's asked you for that help. So what can you put aside? What can you come to completion with? What uh, I's can you dot and T's can you cross? What chapters can you close so that you can let go of this struggle? It could even be something that you've been trying to move forward with all of your might, all of your energy, all of your manifestation power, and it's just not working out the way that you thought. Could be time to rethink, could be time to put it to the side for now. Um, but what also could happen shows up in this next card, this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords indicates energy moving very quickly. Now this can be around what you were stressed out about. It can be around this new person coming in. It can just be lots of busyness. This night is often thought of as like a bit immature. So it can be someone just being really insistent that something's very urgent in their life or on your timeline. And you may or may not feel like this item is urgent to you. So just needing to be clear with what's important to you, what you have time for, what you're prioritizing based on um, what you need and what's going on in your life as well. Take yourself into consideration this week. Sometimes if this night represents a person in your life or that's coming in to your life, uh, they don't always deliver information, wisdom, knowledge, truth in like the kindest package. So it could be someone that says things in like an abrasive way, but really gets the energy moving, really starts um, making cause for change. They might do it in a little bit of a messy way or a little more quickly than we feel comfortable with, but it's a catalyst for change in a good way. Now this next card is the Four of Swords. People often think of this card as like a little bit scary or like looming energy. It's actually not a bad card. It's just reminding you, make sure that you're taking rest. Make sure that you are taking a break if that's possible for you. If you feel like, oh, I have so many things going on, there's no way I could possibly take a break or get a little vacation. 
can you make sure you're going to bed a little bit earlier or maybe not adding unnecessary things onto your schedule so that you can create create or carve out a little more time for relaxation, even if it's not going away somewhere or getting like a full break. Maybe it could just be some extra little breaks in your schedule, taking a walk that feels leisurely to you, getting an earlier bedtime, like I said, if at all possible. And it's asking you to strive for a little bit more balance. This card indicates you've been spread a little thin, whether that's in your schedule, in your physical life, in your family life, or even just in your energy. You're kind of doing so many things all at once. And I know so many of us, have you ever felt like this? Let me know in the comments. So many of us feel like we have, um, like we're juggling all the time and so many things going on. And how are we possibly supposed to get all these things done? And then more things are getting added to our plate and we don't possibly have time for rest. Sometimes if we don't heed the advice of this card, it's when we could, for example, get um, like a little cold from being run down. It's not that serious of a thing, but it's also not helpful. So if there's any way, look at her, it's sunny and, and uh, blue skies outside, but she's getting a little bit of extra rest. If there's any way that you can find some time to get some extra rest or rejuvenation, try to prioritize that this week. And the last card is wonderful news. This is the sun, and this is a major arcana card. So while these other ones are minor arcana, meaning more of your day-to-day -day life, this has to do with a theme in your life at this time. This is happiness, sun. Since we're in the end of May during this reading, hopefully we are all getting lots of beautiful sunshine wherever it is that you live as part of this. But this card's also a resounding yes. So if you've had a question on your heart or on your mind, leaning towards yes. Uh, and remember, this is a general reading, so depending on what that question is and how it applies. Um, but this card is just looking on the sunny side, realizing that like, yeah, things might be a little stressful. There might be a lot going on, a lot of moving parts, but truly everything is okay. Everything is always working out for you, even when it doesn't feel like it in the moment. You really do have um, the support from the other side that you need, the support from your guides that you need. You have the intuition deep within you. And this is just reminding you, you know, look on the bright side, have gratitude where you can, things are working out, and all of the messiness that you might feel in your world right now, just know that it is moving things forward for the highest and greatest good for you and everyone involved, even if it doesn't always feel like it. And the sun will be out tomorrow uh, or right around the corner for you. This, uh, red flag here. Funny that we were talking about rest because this red flag here is about life force energy, vitality, strength, energy within ourselves. So that's available to you in a more overarching way for this time period on your life path. Uh, but do try to get a little bit of rest. Let me know how this resonates with you. Uh, I am always so happy to be here with you and make sure that you are checking out my free monthly community offering, my spirit circle. It's a little different every month and I'd love to have you there if you haven't been already. You can check it out right on my website, joyfulmedium.com under the events tab. It's free to sign up. Big hugs, lots of love. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.